Here's Ito. Dude. His sword attack is actually pretty fast for a dual-handed sword. He's got a pet like Amber too, that's really interesting. He's awesome. I like his particle effect too. Beating, fighting, trading card games, spinning tops, kendama, hide and seek, you name it, I can play it. What do you say? Take one and we'll have a little contest. I love his Make voice sure actor. <laughs> 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 ah, whoa. Did you did you see him swing his claymore and then fix his hair? Yeah. <laughs> he's like so the stylish. coolest dude in Inazuma. Yeah, you're and busy yet, me he's too. Like kind of this goofy kid at the same time. Like like hearing his words, it's so interesting that dynamic, but I, I'm into it. <laughs> okay, so our first character to introduce is Arataki Ito. As you can probably tell from the horns on his head, this guy is definitely not human. That's right. In fact, Ito's horns are a symbol of his Oni heritage. Just like the Adepta and Liyue, Oni are a special kind of being in Inazuma. We have already encountered other special beings in our previous adventures across Inazuma, such as the Bake Danuki and Tengu. This time we are What's really cool is I like the fact that they're coming out with characters that are not human now. Like they have him, he's an Oni. You know, I'm really excited. I think there's like a cat girl coming out as well. So I'm really excited to see new characters coming out that are different, like that aren't just human, like demons and all that good jazz. Like I'm really hyped for that. Yeah, Delphine, what's up? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome in. Have you been? I got Toma and Hu Tao and Deluc. Well, I'm proud of you for getting Toma and Hu Tao, but Deluc nah nah i was like no i'd rather get chi chi than Deluc. how many how many constellations is your Deluc now oni to the list aside from ito's heritage his unique charisma has also attracted all kinds of followers to him word on the streets is that ito has established his own crew called the arataki gang okay so he's a gang leader that's that's an interesting twist <laughs> yeah but he's not quite the kind you might be thinking of there have been some interesting stories about Ito floating around town. Yep, he's the big guy with the horns that would play cards with kids to win all of their snacks from them. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a kid's worst. That's so evil. And apparently, he also won a ramen eating contest against a certain fox-eared lady. Right, which is another aspect of his character. He has a strong will to win no matter what he's doing. Yeah, that makes sense. So it probably explains why we see his rematch challenge to Kujo Sara on the Hanamizaka bulletin board. Oh, Sara's the one who defeated him and confiscated his vision under the Vision Hunt decree. Well, enough of us just talking about him. Why don't we let Ito himself introduce his combat skills? I think that's why I like Let's him so much. Special correspondent. Baby sister Voice says hi. Nice. Ito. Tell her Next I said hi too. That's so cute. Aw. Rip. I'm a shower. C3? <laughs> Check, check. That's one, really two, good. Arataki numero uno Ito here in the flesh. <laughs> so, what are we doing? Talking about Ito's fighting style? Cool, let's get into it. Ito wields a claymore and manipulates the geo element. He's strong, tough, reliable, a true oni horn to toe. His normal attack performs up to four consecutive strikes. And when his second and fourth attacks hit opponents, Ito will gain stacks of superlative super strength. Pretty cool name, huh? Oh, another thing to note is that Ito's normal attack combo won't reset for a short time after using his elemental skill or performing a sprint, which means you can keep on swinging even after you move. When you hold to initiate a charged attack, you can use superlative strength stacks to perform Arataki Kesagiri slashes without spending any stamina. Oh, that's awesome. Each Arataki Kesagiri slash will consume one stack of superlative super strength. When the final stack is consumed, Ito will unleash an especially powerful attack. Yeah, I'm glad that they did it on the second and fourth swings because I've noticed with characters that only do it on the fourth swing, like, um, what's his face? Ice Cream Boy. Can't remember his name right now, but he's a four star. 
Uh, he has this move where when he hits his fourth hit, he does cryo damage, and that's like his biggest hitter. Like, you have to land that fourth hit, and that's kind of problematic because you can't always land that fourth hit. So, I'm really glad that the, for him, he builds stacks on his second and fourth hit because you're more likely to hit on your second hit, and that way you can still build those stacks, even if you get it on the second hit most of the time. But, uh, I don't know how I feel about it being on the fourth hit, because, I don't know, there's been a lot of instances where I've had to dodge and I can't get that fourth hit in. So, we'll see. That might be, they, they might change that, I don't know, it's kind of questionable. stacks of superlative super strength are available, Ito will perform a Saichi Monji Slash. Oh, and most importantly, remember to keep your hairstyle as cool as possible. <laughs> the wind keeps trying to mess it up. After unlocking the talent Arataki Ichiban, which, by the way, means Ito's the best, when Ito uses consecutive Arataki Kesagiri, his resistance to interruption greatly increases, and each slash causes the subsequent slash to have higher attack speed. Oh, that's so pretty neat. So will keep getting faster and harder to stop. With another one of Ito's talents, Bloodline of the Crimson Oni, damage of Ito's Arataki Kesagiri is increased by a certain percentage of Ito's defense. When using his elemental skill, Ito hurls Ushi, the young Aka Ushi bull, at opponents, dealing geo damage. When Ushi hits opponents, it'll grant Ito one stack of superlative super strength. Ushi also happens to be an auxiliary member of the Arataki gang. So it's all about building stacks. Yeah, anyway, all right. Uh, Ushi is considered a geo construct, and it'll remain on the field to taunt surrounding opponents and draw their attacks. But Ushi won't stick around forever. It'll flee when its HP drops to zero or its duration ends. Ushi also grants Ito one stack of superlative super strength when it takes damage and when it leaves. Next up, let's talk about Ito's Oni King form. After unleashing his elemental burst, Royal Descent, behold Ito the Evil, Ito lets his inner- That's crazy, but like, I'm really glad that his little minion guy helps you build the superlative strength stacks as well, because I feel like him just get building them on the second and fourth hit isn't really efficient, so that's pretty nice. So every time- his little buddy takes damage, you get a stack, and then when he leaves, you get a stack. So that's really gonna help build stacks overall because you're not really likely to get that fourth hit for a stack all the time. So I'm glad that they're implementing that. Raging Oni King emerge using his Oni King's Kanabo in battle. Yeah, you see that Macy swing? <laughs> Normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to geo damage that cannot be overridden. The first and third combos of his normal attack will grant Arataki Ito himself one That's stack of crazy. super strength when they hit opponents. While in Raging Oni King state, Ito's elemental and physical resistance drop, but his attack will be increased based on his defense, and oh, that's his normal cool. attack speed will also be increased. Ito also has an exploration talent, Woodchuck Chucked. When we have Ito in our party, we will Let's have a chance to obtain an additional log of wood while using attacks to collect wood from a tree. So, collecting wood materials will be more efficient. Ito's pretty slick, huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone interact with Ito in our future adventures because <laughs> he's honestly a really fun character to voice. And those are all the inside deets about the one and only Arataki Ito. Zach? One and Oni, I'm dead. I really hope I get him. Our special correspondent. All right, he's back. Yo, yo, Totoro, what's up? How are you doing? How's your day? Welcome in. Yes, we are back. I'm just, I was just commenting on, um, you know how he builds superlative strength with his second and fourth hit. When I first heard that, I got kind of discouraged because it reminds me of like Chong Yun in a way. Because with Chong Yun's fourth and final attack, that's where he does his most damage with the cryo. But, like, I was like, oh, because, like, you can't always get that fourth hit. But then when I heard his little minion builds the stacks whenever it takes damage or whenever it leaves, started to get more faith in his character. I'm like, okay, so it's not just reliant on the second and fourth hit. He can build more stacks with his little buddy there. Okay, so that's going to be wonderful. So he's consistently building stacks, even if you do miss the fourth hit. Yeah. Ida has viral boobies, and that is why he has strength. He does. He has he has men boobies. You, they're very noticeable. They're very pronounced. I like them a lot. But I, I really like his voice actor. Something that I don't really like that they did with him is his passive animation. He's like fixing his hair. I don't really know how I feel about guys that like... 
are like consistently fixing their hair all the time. I don't know, but we'll see. <laughs> yes, mommy, mommy, thank you so much for the lurk. I really appreciate you much, much love. I don't know. It just seems kind of vain to me in a way. But I mean, overall, I really like his character. His move set looks really solid. His his method of building up superlative strength over time seems pretty consistent and it seems like it's going to be very beneficial and I feel like he's going to be a pretty strong character. So I'm going to skip because they leaked the What character did they leak? Oh, now I'm curious because I've been, I've been thinking about getting him, but I don't know if I can, honestly, because I don't have enough primos, but we'll see. Yeah, Zyfox, what's up? How are you doing yesterday? Welcome in. I hope you've been well. Yeah, but I'm, I feel like he's going to be a pretty strong character. Like, Max Middleman. Thanks, Max. Thanks, Max. Bye, guys. Guess that was okay, Max. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> he, he looks like such a cool character, though. Like, he's got really interesting combos yeah. and stack stacking and like I don't he know, looks that so just cool, cool totally. uh-huh next we're moving on to our other new playable character in version 2.3 let's see him in action huh girl yes let's see how Gora plays i've been waiting for this for a while now best doggo boy nay why nay is that a book with a pop-out fish in it? Say what? Ooh. Some kind of buff. Huh. If there's anything ever troubling you, don't keep it all muzzled up inside. You can always speak your mind with me. Although I can't guarantee the puns aren't great. Answer, I'll certainly offer you my best Don't advice. keep it muzzled up Even when I can't inside much of a response. You can always count on me to be a good listener. Whatever it is, I'm all ears. Aww. Yeah, I have a well, feeling he's going to help looks Ito like, a lot. He looks like a real good boy with a big, <laughs> beautiful heart. That he does. That he does. <laughs> I like him. So I know what everybody's wondering. Can we pet his ears? Oh my goodness. Well, that might be a little <laughs> awkward, but if anyone could pet Goro, it would probably be the Traveler. Not you, I want to pet him. I want to pet him! I would like to scratch Goro behind the ears. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Anyways, with all that being said, although Goro looks He's a really Geo young, support? He's one of the Aww. most reliable characters you might ever meet. Hmm. Yeah, in fact, <gasps> Thank you for the head pat. Island Resistance, he's known as top dog goro yeah right. i was hoping they would make him a general goro support younger than most of his fellow officers he earned the nickname because he's close with his troops and the other officers are always mm. lining up asking him for advice and uh to be completely honest goro often doesn't know the right advice to give either but he can't let the soldiers down so he just gives some general pointers and responds based on his own gut feelings which has worked pretty well so everyone sees him as reliable yeah, you know, I guess that's what happens when you wear your heart on your sleeve. <laughs> but as soon as he returns to the battlefield, Goro is back to his serious general self, ready to lead the troops. I love his passive. Because Goro is still young. Where he's reaching the butterfly. And so, what is that? Anyway, what the? How he it's fits. like he has a cell phone general with a fish Goro popping out. What the hell? Resistance fields a bow and holds a geovision. His elemental skill, Inuzaka All-Round Defense, deals AoE Geo damage and sets up his general's war banner. Oh, a war oh, banner. The dog pond, the banner is so cute. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, well, this banner is more than just for show. It provides buffs to active characters within the ability's AoE based on the number of party members in field who are of the Geo element. So, for example, when we have one Geo party member, it grants a defense bonus. When we have two Geo party members, in addition to the defense bonus, it increases resistance to interruption. And when I want to make I want to make a, an all Geo team now. <laughs> make an all geo team now i wanna i think on this next banner i'm gonna try to get ito and him right i'm gonna get ito and him and then i'm gonna use zong li and then i'm gonna have to figure out the fourth that's gonna be such a broken team just think about it ito zong li Goro. I'm trying to think. Maybe Ningguing, Ningguing, or however you pronounce it, because I have her as well. There'd be so much shielding, so much defense bonus. Holy poop. 
<laughs> do Geo and Abyss because I'm not pulling for Eno. Oh, yeah, they might. Or what they might do is they might. I'm wondering if they're going to make it to where Geo is more beneficial in Spiral. That'll be really interesting. I'm kind of curious to make an all Geo team now. Oh, no. When we have three Geo party members, it adds a Geo. Wait, you could say it's a, a shell phone. Right. A shell phone. Wait, there are builds that do all one element. Mm, not particularly. Um, it's kind of frowned, about, frowned upon to do a one element team. But in this case, I feel like it would be beneficial because, you know, the way that, like, they're releasing him and his the way his buff work is for works is for each geo character you have on your team it gives a certain buff so like right now they're talking about the third one and if you have three it adds a geo damage bonus on top of the previous two so if, if it includes him i wonder if it's going to include a fourth because if there's a fourth buff then that means that they're going they're going to try to do like a all geo team damage bonus on top of the previous two bonuses we just mentioned Okay, so what you're saying is the more Geo characters we have in our party, like, I don't know, Elbedo, the more buffs we gain from Goro's elemental skill? Yes, that is correct. Uh, any characters who lack defense and Geo, and there's a few of them, would probably like that a lot. Yes. And finally, we... <laughs> thanks, thanks, Koi. And finally, we have Goro's element... Yeah, so it doesn't seem like it's going to be a four, full team because the way he, he works is it gives up to three Geo characters give a bonus. And as we know, there's four characters on a party. But I'm kind of curious to just do an all Geo team. So, I mean, there's a way I could have my Cryo ladies on a team. I mean, you could do all Cryo, but you'd kind of get screwed if you encountered a Cryo enemy. So that's why, for the most part, when you're building a team, you kind of want to have variety. And you kind of want to have uh, elements together that are going to cause elemental reactions because you get additional damage when you're doing elemental reactions and everything. But just and giggles, I was kind of curious about maybe doing a full Geo team, but it seems here that Goro, the way he's going to operate is it's going to be three Geo for all the buffs and then one character that's not Geo. So I'm kind of curious how people are going to build like his support team and everything. Should be interesting. Um, I would just go all Geo and giggles out of curiosity. So all we need is a Geo healer, right? Well, we kind of we kind of already do have a Geo healer. If you think about it, we have Noelle. Noelle does healing. She does some healing. So if you put what what if we put Goro, Zhongli, Goro, Zhongli, Ido, and Noelle all on a team, you would have healing. You would have defense. You would have attack. Like that would be really interesting to see. I don't know how cracked her healing is because I myself have never played her, but I do have friends that use a C6 Noel as a healer in Spiral Abyss. Like there was someone that I used to play with a lot that did that. I don't know if they're still using her, but I do know that she does a pretty decent job of shielding and healing. Yeah, Goro's useless to be honest. He only benefits with Geo from what I hear. Nah, I wouldn't I wouldn't shrug him off as useless just yet. Um, they might, let's think about it here, Zhongli, Geo, incredibly OP. Like, what if with this release, Geo is godlike? You never know. Like, you don't, we don't know how, like, we know Ido's skills, but we don't know just how cracked he's going to be. So it should be really interesting to see, you know, this might be the buff to Geo that we're looking for so that more people are going to use Geo on their teams and everything. Like, we don't know how they're going to, we don't know how they're going to make the Spiral Abyss the next time around when these characters are released. Because remember when uh, Kokome was released, they had a debuff with the Spiral Abyss that caused um, you to lose health over time. So it made it more beneficial to have Kokome on your team. Like, you don't know if they're going to release some kind of mechanic that's going to make it more optimal to have Geo on your team. So I don't want to, like, shrug off his usefulness, usefulness just yet. Like, we don't know what they're going to do and everything. So... Honestly, if they make it to where it's more beneficial to have Geo characters and teams and stuff, I'm looking forward to it. I feel like it's been needed for a while now. I don't see many people using Geo characters. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see how parties are going to be like in the future due to this. Um, maybe it'll make Geo more optimal to use. Who knows? So this, this buff is interesting. I do wish it did benefit all the characters like Totoro said. I do wish that was implemented, but... 
at the same time, it's 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 pretty interesting to see what they're gonna do from here on out with it just buffing Geo. Like I, I'm actually really curious now. Mental burst, Juga forward unto victory. Like I'm more curious about this than I am about the story teaser that they released. I don't know if that's good or bad, but <laughs> unleashing his burst, his AOE geo damage and creates a field known as General's Glory. Ooh, General's like Glory. Skill, the field provides buffs to active characters according to the number of geo party members. What's oh, okay. Special about this field is that it moves together with your active character and periodically generates a crystal collapse, which deals AOE geo damage to one opponent within its AOE. After unlocking the talent Heedless of the Wind and Weather, Goro's Elemental Burst also increases all party members' defense. And another one of Goro's talents, A Favor Repaid, grants damage bonuses to Goro's Elemental Skill and Elemental Burst based on his defense. With well, it looks like his other skill is going to be buffing the entire party regardless of element, though. So it does, it does seem like there is some support for the entire party regardless of element. So it feels like... I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be. I'm confused. Which is cool because <laughs> I love seeing characters I'm using confused. different stats. Wow, so that's all really cool. But I have to admit that little sidekick of his is so cute. Look at how it waves its banner alongside Goro. I want to be its friend. <laughs> oh, he's a little sidekick. Hey guys, focus. Come on. I will be its friend. <laughs> <laughs> so aside from his combat-related talents, Goro also has a pretty useful exploration talent called Seeker of Shinies. Seeker yes, of what? that's... Seeker of Shinies. Oh my god, that's it's great. It's amazing and it's adorable. Yes, I totally understand that. This talent displays the location of nearby resources unique to Inazuma on the minimap while you have Goro in your party. Ooh, that's oh awesome. Goodness, that's actually let's go really seek useful. Some shinies. It's going to be so handy when we're farming materials in Inazuma. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah, so you guys like Goro? Sound pretty good? Yes. Yep. Very good. Very, a very good boy. A very, oh my very god. Good boy. I that's where I was going. A very and good I'm, boy. I'm just not disappointed. I'm not disappointed. Oh my well, goodness. All right. Now that we've had our first look at our new characters, let's check out the event wishes.